welcome back to The Shadow Chef. I'm Matt Jordan and today I'm cooking the second course from last month's birthday extravaganza. I'm cooking what is essentially the campest, most quintessential Australian uh, entree, prawn cocktail. Now, first thing that we need to do for prawn cocktail is we need to make our mayonnaise. If you don't have time to make your own mayonnaise, you can of course buy a really good store brand. Um, but you know, this is the Shadow Chef, so we've obviously got to do everything the hard way. Start off with an egg. Okay. Whoops. Oh. Um, and don't do it like that. Um, so, because now I'm going to have to use my hands, which is what I really hate doing. With the towel, just open it up, make a little, little circle, holds the bowl in place um, because there's obviously a lot of whisking. The next thing that we do is we've got a teaspoon and a, uh, yeah, a teaspoon and a half of uh, white wine vinegar. Let's start whisking. Oops, no it's not, it's actually some salt. Because I was making so much of this, I actually did it in my um, uh, stand mixer a really good way of um, you know making mayonnaise because it gave you a lot more control um, especially you know like when you're trying to drip feed in the oil which of course is the most essential thing just a little drop of oil whisk 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 and we're praying to the sweet baby jesus that we don't split it looking good i don't know if you can kind of see that yeah it's starting to kind of like like thicken up um but you know it's still like a really 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 slow process because if we add the oil too quickly, then um, yeah, as I said before, we're gonna split the mayonnaise. It's actually times like this that I wish I had. Here's one I prepared earlier, um, but I don't because we used all the cocktail sauce because it was fucking beautiful. I ended up having it on toast. Um, fresh bread is really, yeah, prawn cocktail sauce on fresh bread is, if you wanna be a little bit bogan, you could grab some like Smith's crisp chips, um, salt and vinegar. Yum, make a chip sandwich. You could gourmet the fuck out of it and grab some, some, some um, Sonoma bread. Toast it, chuck some prawn cocktail sauce on it, crush up some Smith's salt and vinegar chips. Fucking yum. Perfect hangover cure too. There are a million videos out there on how to make mayonnaise and obviously this isn't gonna be one of the best ones. Pressure points, the fucking mayonnaise. Everything else just gets bung in. Yes, baby, yes! Tens across the board. Perfect thickness for mayonnaise is you can scoop it out and then just slather it all over your face. Like a night cream, yum. We'll wanna add in Dijon mayonnaise. I'm hoping that I haven't fucked this up. I mean, the Dijon mayonnaise was sitting right there in front of me. Ooh. Yeah, before you add the oil, you're meant to whisk um, the Dijon mayonnaise into the egg yolk with the, the salt, the white wine vinegar, and the pepper and lemon. As you can see, hasn't actually changed the consistency of the mayonnaise. Uh, is beautiful. I'm gonna finish off the prawn cocktail sauce. <laughs> Yum. Um, pinch of cayenne pepper. Uh, if you can find it, uh, one and a half teaspoons of fresh horseradish. I wasn't able to, to find it this weekend um, out at the market. So unfortunately I've got uh, store-bought. It's delicious. It's not as delicious as uh, freshly grated horseradish. Um, we've then got some tomato sauce and we've also got some Worcestershire sauce. Uh, reason I pulled that out of my back pocket was that like when I did the mise en place, this was this and obviously the egg were the two things that um, I've got so I had to quickly run and grab it. Anyway, um, so let's just get fucking started. The horseradish, yum. Um, I don't know if you can tell but like I've got a bit of a, a bit of a cold and this is like Godsend this like literally blow your head off cleans out your sinuses I won't do it now because then I'll just be dribbling into um, The prawn cocktail sauce and you know, we don't want a snotty prawn cocktail sauce uh, And I keep sniffling which I do apologize for and then we've got a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce Oh, it doesn't screw <laughs> Now, because you've added some additional liquid into the mayonnaise, you just want to kind of, you know, whisk that nice and aggressively just so that you can thicken up the mayonnaise. Any additional liquids that you add into the mayonnaise are going to uh, loosen it up. I'm really happy with that. Yay! But on to the prawns! <sighs> Yum! Peeling prawns is such a thankless task. Okay, so... 
I fucked that one up. We want to keep the tail on for presentation. We'll use him. Um, also, just be sure to get like the, the freshest prawns from uh, your fishmonger. Of course, goes without saying. Show you um, how you can devein a prawn, but keep it intact. You know, you can pick it up by the tail and straight in the gob. We need a toothpick. You can see here that this is the poop shoot, which we need to yuck, get rid of, because ain't no one wanna be eating prawn poop pierce. Um, back of the prawn. So then we can literally just pull it out like that. Boom. Once you've shredded your lettuce, give it a quick, quick rinse. Um, chuck it in a colander to spin out all the moisture, and then we're ready to plate up. Anyway, so we've got our clean lettuce, a little squeeze of lemon um, over the, the lettuce. The lemon will add like a beautiful, fresh acidity. Just kind of clean these up a little bit. I and mean, you don't wanna, I mean, it, there's, it's fine, but you know, that kind of looks like a busted fleshlight. Nobody wants to be served a busted fleshlight, do they? Don't Google that. Don't be a scab. Make sure that you serve up more than like two prawns. Um, I think four is like a delightful amount for an entree. I served, um, actually I think I was a scab and I served two. Um, but also I was feeding 20 people, so that's like 90 prawns. No, I must have three, it was three. No, that's, no, that math doesn't work. It was 60 prawns, three each, yeah. Fuck, a little lemon segment. Um, fastest way of doing that is obviously do the, the whole lemon um, and then you can segment it up. And then our prawn cocktail sauce. Now, you can be heavy handed with this because it is delicious and it's very Moorish. So, you know, you don't want to kind of like be your artsy and like just kind of like brush it on. You want to give people enough of um, the, the prawn cocktail sauce um, for each prawn. Sunrise, AKA prawn cocktail, AKA the campus thing that you could ever serve anyone. Um, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you'd like to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button, um, which is down here. Um, look forward to sharing the third course with you in uh, the next week or so. All right, thanks guys.